Good morning. And thank you for having me um, here this morning. I want to say thank you to everyone here in the audience and all of those that are online. Um, I was having a moment just a little while ago. So if I get emotional during um, my talk, I just need you guys to bear with me. Um, this is part, and I think it's kind of appropriate for my title, Being Strong and of a Good Courage. But the last time I was here, my mother sat in the back. And on December 21st, my mother transitioned to her next phase of her journey. And this is thus how this title came to be. Um, it has been a blessing, such a blessing to be able to move through this period of transition with my mom. Um, I didn't know at the time as we were moving through this period of transition how God was supporting me until I had the time to stop and just revisit the movement. You know, when we talk about being strong and of a good courage, it's really about, at least from my perspective, about being willing to surrender everything to God and to lean into God. God is our source. God is our strength. And as I proceeded through this journey, and as I had the time to look back, it was amazing to me how God stepped in every step of the way. And it allowed me to be present with my mom, totally present, not concerned about all the other things that were going on in the hospital and the doctors. God gave me the strength to do what needed to be done and to just relish in the fact, the ease in which it occurred because I was leaning into God. You know, you talked about the song, Lean On Me. That's what God asks us to do all the time. Lean on God. God is our strength. God is our wings. God is our courage. You know, and as I did this journey, you know, with my mom and, you know, God just orchestrated everything that came into place. My brother, who doesn't visit Virginia very often, he was there the whole time from start to finish. You know, we started as a family, we ended as a family. And it gives me great comfort and solace that we ended as a family. And I look out here, and it gives me great solace. It makes me a little sad but gives me great solace that this is one of the last places that my mother came. And she had such a great time here. Mm -hmm. She really enjoyed her visit here. You know, she talked about it all the way home. She talked about the music, she talked about the people. And so being in this space this morning is just a reminder of how good God is. Because if I hadn't come here in October, her and I would not have had that experience. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is divinely ordered. Everything is divinely planned. And if we stay in alignment with what is ours to do, not what is yours to do, what's mine to do? And to be willing to show up even when it gets hard. Because there were many days that it was hard. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean like hard to be there, but hard on the body. There were days I didn't get any sleep. And people were like, Robin, you gotta go home and get some sleep. And I'm like, no. God will give me the strength that I need to do what needs to be done. God knows what I have to do. So I can either choose to stand with God or I can worry about this body that God created. It made no sense to me. You know, and so, you know, when I talk about being, oh, I keep forgetting about the mic, I'm sorry. About being, being is a verb. It's continuous. You know, God asks that we pray continuously. And so our words and our thoughts are that continuous. You know, and so in the beingness, there's always this evolution. We're here right now, and the next moment we're here. And so we are God's expression, and we are God's instrument, but are we constantly paying attention to what we're thinking, 
what we're feeling and what we're doing. Is what we're doing coming out of our beingness or is it just because it's what we're supposed to do? You know, and I have to catch myself and ask myself, am I coming from who I am? Am I being the expression and the instrument of God that I was created to be? And it takes being strong and being courageous. Because it's not always easy. It's not always pleasant. And it's not always what's expected. You know, we live in a world that there are different, we have all these rules by which we have to live and how we participate and how we show up. But are you being true to you? You know, are we being courageous? And when we stand in the strength of God and we lean into that presence and power, being courageous is easy because we know that the strength that we need, it comes from God. And it's something that's in us. It's not something we have to get. It's not something that we have to prove. It is not something that we have to acquire. But it's something that we get to practice. We get to practice the strength of God in us by our actions, by our beingness. And doing the courage part is easy when we can lean into and embrace that presence and power that is us. It's not separate. It's present in every moment. And am I willing, because that's the question I ask myself, am I willing to stand in God? Am I willing to do what needs to be done? Am I willing to trust the presence and power of God that is me, that moves through me, that guides and directs me? And it's not always easy. Nobody said it was going to be. But what I can lean on is the fact that the presence and power of God is me. And when I allow it, and when I accept it, and when I embrace it, there's nothing, absolutely nothing that I can't do. There's nothing that I can't be. You know, it's an opportunity. And I'm listening to my voice. I'm like, oh, I sound so raspy. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you. There were, um, there were reasons, you know, it's really funny when Reverend Ann called me and she invited me. I was like, oh yes, I'm so excited. And then I realized that it was like the next week. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but I had already said yes. I had already said yes. And so because I said yes, I knew that God was going to provide me with whatever I needed. And that I just needed to be willing and able. You know, and as I have journeyed with a new, you know, I have this new life now. I was my mother's caregiver for almost 20 years. And now it's me. You know, and there's a, there's a sadness in it because I'm closing a door. I just moved into a new apartment. Um, and I moved this week, Wednesday, okay? <laughs> so, you know, and as I sat there before and I was, you know, getting all emotional, I'm like, okay, Lord, I need you to help me to be able to do this talk because I feel so emotional this morning because this is one of the last places that my mother was, that she was happy and she was joyous to be here. And so it, you know, it gives me great pleasure to be here, but it also brings a degree of sadness. You know, and one of the things that, for me, being strong and courageous is being willing to allow my emotions, you know, not to, not to stop them, but to let them be. And I know that God will provide me with the strength I need to do this talk. And so I'm in this moment right here, right now, I'm leaning in. This is what it looks like. I'm leaning into God for the strength and the courage to know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. And I'm no different than you. I'm no different than you. And so when you have something before you, know that there is that thing in you, that presence, that power. It's in your, in your beingness. 
that knows exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. But can we trust that? Are we willing to trust that presence, that power, that life, that love that is us? When we allow it, it always works. You know, God gave us free will. What was he thinking about? <laughs> you know, but in free will, we get to choose God. We get to choose God. You know, and so as we stand in this place of being courageous, and the one last thing I will say, because I'm looking at time, but one thing I will say is this is our confidence in ourselves is our confidence in God. Think about that. That presence and power lives within you. And if you have confidence in God, then you should always have confidence in yourself. So whatever the mind can imagine, say yes, it's yours. Be strong and of a good, and of a good courage just means that you've allowed God to give you the strength for the courage. It's not you forcing it, it's you allowing and accepting that presence and power of God that is you. And I just want to thank you guys for allowing me to share a few nuggets um, from my world. But know that God is no respecter of persons. What God does for one, he does for all. We just have to be willing to accept it because God doesn't force. And so it is. acceptance I just invite you to get comfortable where you are take a deep, a deep breath in and exhale slowly take another breath in and let it out slowly Know that you are the presence of God. That that presence of God is within you. It is within you awaiting your awakening. Awaiting your recognition of the truth of who you are. I invite you in this moment just to consider presence of God is you, that you are made in the full wonder and amazement of God. I invite you to just be, be the presence of God within you. Take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. Just ponder the thought that the presence of God is you. It's just you. You are the light and love of God. Each of us is the light and love of God. Take a breath in and let out slowly. As we spend a few moments in the silence, I just invite you to feel the presence and power of God that is you. Allow that love to fill you up to its overflowing.
So I invite you to take another breath in and let it out slowly. And as you, as we bring this time to a close, I invite you to consider, as the daily word said today, to carry the presence and power of God that you are with you every day, knowing that it is yours. It is you. And just give great thanks in whatever way is appropriate for you. For we know that there is only one presence, one power, one life, and we call it God. And that is you. And so it is. Amen and amen. Flow, spirit, flow through me as I open up to be an expression of your unfolding peace. Oh, spirit, show through me as I open up to be an expression of your unfolding